Hey folks, welcome back to the another video. Um, I've been doing a lot of Friday night videos because like I'm all charged up. I'm in a good mood. I'm tired, but you ever be you ever been tired where you have a second wind that comes in and you're like more invigorated? Like so tonight like has been a really weird night. Um because it's peak pay of four dollars and as I was making my comment video, which you guys and gals saw that earlier, uh, the, I'm going to do another comment video after this second up or third upload, whatever you want to call it, because I'm, I'm on my way to a delivery, so I have time to chat with you. And I just wanted to say, like, I, your comments, like all of you guys and gals are just putting in some incredible, just wonderful comments and just insight into like what's going on. And I'm so grateful to have such an awesome, awesome subscriber count here, like, with people. Like, you guys, you, you make it all worth it for me to do these videos. Like, it makes me want to do more and more and just try to help you because I really do care about you. I know that there are some channels out there that are big channels, and they, and they do care about. Like, one of, them, one of my favorite channels and I haven't watched him lately, is, is Zach Drives Fast. Now, I know Zach is monetized and stuff, but that guy, like, he puts his heart and soul into that channel, and he really cares about the community, and he exposes a lot of stuff, so I love his channel as well. But, um, you know, here, let me just say this. Not to knock uh, gig channels in general, but I'll just say this. The days of trying to learn tips and tricks and all these things is pretty much over, folks. I think that for the most part, that real hardcore drivers and things, uh, you know, ride share, delivery drivers, we, we've had it. We have had enough of the treatment of these companies, right? And so this is where it ties into what I've been talking about, about the problem reaction solution, Hegelian dialectic and Mr. Corinthians, if you'd like to put something, add something into what I'm saying in this video, you, you're more than welcome to. I love you, brother. And he's a Christian brother. I am a Christian channel, folks, even though I don't seem like it sometimes. And I know my channel, for the most part, sometimes seems to be all, like, talking about all doom and gloom and, and just, you know, there's never any really happy things to report. But I'm actually a happy guy. I am. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a happy person. I... I live a modest life, but, you know, I, I'm i very personable with people, and I, I just want to see a fair shake coming to people. I want people to get what, what they deserve. I mean, you're out here busting your chops. You might as well get paid for it, right, instead of getting screwed. So my channel was started out for two reasons, one out of frustration, but the other one was because at some point the Holy Spirit, God, right, whether you believe in God or not, I'm just telling you my story. Put it on my heart to, to incorporate kind of Christian values in into my channel, even though I don't speak a lot about it in my channel. Now, I'm not afraid to. It's just that, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the gig community. But, you know, everything is tied into everything, folks. The, you know, like the reason these companies came in was to take control of the transportation sector in, in taxi drivers, in food delivery, in businesses, so they could capture the market so it would keep us all low and suppressed. Because no one's using taxis anymore, and taxis are still around, folks. And no one's using, no one really does in-house deliveries anymore, by the way. It's all, go, everything's gone digitally right? Because it's the new way to do things, right? But that's the downfall of America and the downfall of the of society. Because, you know, even the Bible talks about all of that. <laughs> Just look up the book of Revelation, folks, if you haven't read it. But anyways, <laughs> it's all, this whole thing was a Cloud and Piven. If you don't know what Cloud and Piven is, they, look them up. They were strategists, who, who were, uh, they're part of the New World Order, and their plan was to destroy America and destroy free freedom of speech and freedom of, of uh, you know, uh, you know, even capitalism and all that. It's all to be done away with, you know, going back to a paganistic way of doing things, right? Where it's just the, uh, it's just a revamping of uh, the, there's no 
old, there's no new anything. It's all old. Goes back to the Nazis too, with with uh, fascism and Marxism, Karl Marx, the um, Communist Manifesto. It's it's really you'd have to study those things. A lot of you may not know about any of this stuff, but we're all you always wondering why? Why are we getting so screwed by companies? Why are they doing this to us? It's because they're they're designed as corporations, and the corporations are part of a system of control. But it's way worse than just the control. But they control every facet of everything. They control food, water, resources, transportation. The transportation part is what we're, we're, we're going through, all of us, because we're working for these app companies. And you wonder why you can never get ahead, why you're not making you know ends meet. You're just making enough. They only give you enough to barely survive, folks. You, there's no prospering. Who the hell is prospering in this gig economy? All of these channels that boast and brag about doing it, the only reason they're boasting and bragging is because they're getting five, six, and ten thousand dollar checks per month, and even higher, <clears throat> higher than that from the click views from their videos. You know what I mean? If they weren't making that and they had to go out and work eight, ten, twelve, fifteen hours a day like we all do working gig apps, they wouldn't even be able to survive. Why would you have a channel? My channel exists because my, I don't, I'm not, the acquisition of wealth is not the driving force in my life, folks. It's not because my, you know, the last thing I want to do is lose my soul, right? Because I, it, you know, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? That's what Jesus said in the Bible, didn't he? And uh, some of you are not Christians, but you need to learn this stuff if you don't know about it. Because God loves each and every one of you, and I love you too. And like I said, that's why my channel exists. But it sucks because no matter what we do, we can't get ahead. We, we, we're trying everything. We're testing everything. We're beta testing everything in different markets with this and that. It's because the companies have designed these algorithms to really just destroy your life. <laughs> right? And some of us did it to, to get freedom from our bosses, freedom from our jobs, to go to a new, something new or something different. And you were promised, oh, you're going to, look at these crazy stupid ads from DoorDash when you go to these channels. Hey, would you like to make a lot of money on DoorDash? I, I, there was, there's a new one that's out that talks about how someone, like, got debt free from working for DoorDash and all this. Oh, what a joke that is. Half... Three quarters of us, half of us are in the doghouse with uh, inundated with bills up to the yin yang because we can't pay our bills because we're not making enough money. These these ludicrous uh, delivery uh, payouts for drivers are just beyond Orwellian. This is like George Orwell's 1984. And if you don't know what who George Orwell is or if you never read that book, we're beyond Orwellian, folks. Mr. Corinthians will probably note something in here. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you will. You know all about George Orwell, don't you? <laughs> I mean, this is this is crazy. Crazy what's going on, folks. And by the way, <clears throat> DoorDash and all these companies, they watch my channel, folks. They watch it because they know that the truth is coming out and they don't like it. And, and isn't it funny how, you know, in the past year, all of these things have happened and, and now it's coming to a head where, they, where the government is now going to make, um, they're going to make, you know, it probably mandatory that everyone's made an employee. I'll give you two, there's many reasons why they want you to be an employee, folks, but I'll give you two, two reasons, okay? One, because the people who aren't paying their taxes that are working for these apps, right? They are going after them because they want to be able to have the companies take the taxes out. So, because they know most people won't pay the taxes while they're driving for this, for these apps. That's number one. Number two, they want to be able to control future mandates like getting a shot in the arm, a JAB, that you probably, some of you didn't want to get and you avoided, which is the best thing you ever did because that thing is, will kill you. Uh, eventually down the road, there's a lot of evil, and I'm not going to get into the, into that in this video, but there's, and so that, those are two, two of the main reasons, 
because they can't, they want control of everyone, folks. And if they can't gain control, that's how they do it through the manipulation of, of, um, you know, state and government and federal and all of that and corporations. The corporations will go along with what the government says when they make the rules, because these very people that, that are in these corporations go to these secret meetings once a year. If you ever know, if you don't know what the Bilderberg group is, Bilderberg, B-I-L-D-E-R-B-E-R-G, Bilderberg, Bilderberg groups. And they're part of the, uh, Council on Foreign Relations, too, folks, which is also tied into the World Economic Forum. Look all of these terms up, folks, because when I was first learning about all this stuff, I wrote all of this stuff down, and I went and researched, like I'm telling you, and boy, what a whopper of truth you're going to find out when you start researching, and you'll go, you'll start connecting the dots. You'll say, ah, this is why this is happening. See, a lot of you are, are young, you, you've never heard this before, you probably don't know what it's all about. You might think, well, this is crazy talk. Look it up, folks, because these are all facts I'm telling you. You're hearing facts and truth. You know, it's... <laughs> I want to mention a channel that I really don't like, and, I'm, and only because I don't like the way he does things, and that is Hot Facts with Robert Reese. He's a guy that kisses ass to try to get a tip from someone who's a non-tipper and supposedly turn them into tipping him, right? Killing him with kindness. That's not going to work, folks. People are going to do what they what they do and and they, they if they if they're not going to tip you, they don't care about tipping you. You understand what I mean? They already have it in their mind. It doesn't matter what you do. And so he's the type of guy that takes every delivery and for 325 and 275. He was once on Pedro's uh live stream once and you know Pedro gave him a shout out and then he ended up burning Pedro and talking a whole bunch of crap about him so I am defending Pedro on that level because like like he's a piece of garbage to to, to because he's the guy who is treating the rest of us I mean by you becoming a top dasher you're hurting the community okay you just are because of all of the reasons that I mentioned all of the things I've talked about on this channel so there's a lot of channels that are, that are just crazy, you know, um, but they, they're going to find out that they're going to get burnt too. These companies are going to turn on them, you know, they're going to turn their backs on, on the ones that they're taking care of. There are some dashes that get taken care of. I also believe that, you know, there's plants, P-L-A-N-T out here, plants on YouTube that, are, that have YouTube channels that possibly are working for DoorDash and disguising themselves as, as uh, you know, people who are trying to help the community when in fact the they're customer actually... requested you leave the order at their door. Hold on door. a second, folks. They added the following instructions: Leave at my door. They're out here, in fact, trying to burn everyone. Now, with that said, I'm going to leave you because I have to deliver this this order. But I want to thank you for coming to this video. I hope I opened your eyes and. You learned some things you didn't learn before in this video because I always think of something important to say. So write in the comments what you think I said. I mean, what you, you know, do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, just, just write comments in there. And you guys are awesome. I love each and every one of you. I'm trying to help you as a whole community, folks. Never forget that. I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.